We already have an idea of what measurements, quantities, and units are. In this quest, we will describe quantities based on their magnitudes and directions, and how to use their magnitudes and directions in calculations. A quantity can be described by its magnitude and direction. And the measurement is a way of determining the amount of this quantity we have in a given context. And units are the agreed subdivisions that help us to have a standard measurement for each quantity. Now, fundamental quantities, such as mass, length, and time, are those that are independent of other quantities and are measured in base units. To use an analogy, fundamental quantities are like primary colors. All other quantities are made from a combination of these. On the other hand, derived quantities, such as speed and acceleration, are made of a combination of fundamental quantities. So to follow our analogy, these derived quantities are the secondary colors. These quantities can also be classified into two groups depending on their relationship with magnitude and direction. These two groups are scalars and vectors. Now, scalar quantities are quantities that are fully described by their magnitude or a numerical figure alone. For example, if I asked you how many flowers are on a plant, the number of flowers is a sufficient answer. Examples of such quantities that can be defined by magnitude alone are mass, length, and speed. Now let us take mass, for example. If I say the mass of an object is 5,000 kilograms, 5,000 kilograms, you will agree, is the magnitude of the quantity mass, right? And it fully answers our question. But if I apply the force of 50 newtons on a shopping cart and asked you what direction the cart will move, you won't be able to answer my question effectively. Am I pulling, pushing, or lifting the cart? In other words, the magnitude of the force tells us only half the story. Force requires more than magnitude for us to fully describe it, and therefore it's not a scalar, but a vector. Vectors require more information, so we'll discuss this in another lesson. Bye for now.